got ourselves team with the rogue bad bunny on that assassination rogue looking good i like that set that color i'm not a big fan of the purple and rusty orange colors but i actually like this on this set a lot i don't know what it is we got lucifer on the team as well as necro is getting flung out from the pipe we got rosie blast as a that's actually adorable that animation of the fox form with top g also on that team bad bunny gonna be first up versus faded x you should be aware that hey there's one south over in team one i'm probably dueling that guy on the team we got ourselves sea mark in the back of the frosty with die because joining back in as the destro i like this set a lot on your in particular i like that a lot chicago on that team as well as chill pills over waiting for his turn as both rogues are in south bad bunny kind of sort of waddling towards his direction one subtle team, one assassination. I really do think Sub can w usually wins a lot of these duels, but an assassination rogue, if played perfectly, that death mark just can't live it. Bad Bunny and Faded both pop the trick and done. Faded could take a lot of damage if that's a death mark. I don't know if you go for it, but he's just gonna go for big damage. Sepsis, I think, with the King's Bane too. He's just gonna go for a little bit of a drain. Faded might just have to burn a cloak of shadows either way, though. You're still taking damage while Bad Bunny kind of reset. Faded, slow down, having to cloak really early. Hold on, looking for a reset. If Bad Bunny can catch him with a kidney shot and a death mark, there's nothing he can do. Sap really quick with my Faded. Both of the rogues are dotted, though. And Faded trying to see if he can get himself a bit of a reset. Bad Bunny back in the cell, Faded back in the cell. Random Fan of Nice does not find him. Next road to get a kidney shot could be the winner here bad still does have a couple of bleeds on him cheap shot but faded got him so full sepsis bad bunny has a cloak of shadow so if you press it early enough you might be okay needs to use it as soon as possible does cloak this damage needs to get a kidney shot onto faded faded with a evasion though quick blind but bad does go with a vanish needs to get himself full stone onto faded if you get yourself full set of dots i think faded just dies you gotta get yourself full death mark though vanish trying to see if you can get out of there faded cannot really leave too far shadow strikes right after full death mark to uh, to pop in cheap shadow to bad buddy trying to see if you can take it down no cheat death available faded does end up surviving it though that full death mark would have been huge although i feel like it's rough if you don't have a cheap death off of that one top g try to see if you can stay on to fade as best as possible but the rogue's got nothing left i think he still got dots from the rogue right cheat death i think he goes down either way though right unless top g does not find him fear just locking him down for just a second quick of this wait who's up next is it chicago because she kind of got feared out quite a bit. Is it Daya? Daya with the Mortar Call sending out the Succubus, opening up all those gates, catching Top G with a quick Succubus. You see Soulfire and a Bonza fell. He has to find a way to break those. Popping a big defensive, leaping over towards the Warlock. Warlock boarding out of there. Do you have a gateway set up? You might want to set up a gateway at some point, though. Try to see if you can just kite him out. Chaos Bolt, down to go. Let's reflect. Barely keeping him alive, but I think just needs a conflagration or two. And down goes the Hobie. With Necro trying to see if he can find himself an angle. Freeze on the Daya. Daya knows there's going to be a Hunter up next. It should be at least aware. And that means it's going to be a sniper shot if he can get himself an angle. Trying to get himself a good angle. Is this good enough? Should be good enough. Does catch him. Sniper. Breaks into the uh, health bar of Daya. A little death shocker to follow. Does take the pet with him. With a second to see. Onto Necro who does go in for the trinket. And goes in for damage. But all you got is a second is attacking it. And it's not, it's not convinced. That Fain Death, not super convincing. Might just have to take down the Succubus while Daya took a big opener in health damage with a Death Chakram, summon up a new Syad. And we'll see if he can maybe get himself a go, but does survive the opener. Necro, I don't think we'll be seeing a camera for a while. So now cannot really sneak up on Diabolicals. But maybe if you go in for traps, maybe if you go in for a Chimeric Poison, you might get some a decent setup. Those rapid fires while behind the pillar are huge though, as long as you can find yourself an angle, but the portals are going to be able to chase it down. Aim shot off of that scatter, quite a bit of damage. Dio also get himself Instacast Incinerates, which is going to be huge. Does have himself the second BC, but an undead racial to break out of it. Bonds of Fell does not connect. Maybe Necro has someone for this one. If you had himself a Silence for the Mortal Call, that would have been huge. Chaos Bolt right after, just has to take the damage full frontal. And this is going to take a bit ahead, but Exhilaration does help him catch up a little. Dampening slowly starting to ramp up bit by bit. Daya opening up an extra portal. Necro can maybe faint death it? Or no? Just going to have to aim shot the pet unless it can get him suck up his CC. Daya trying to see if he can cross the map with the CC with the soul fire right after. Just, I don't know what you can do in this situation. Scatter for just a second. Rapid fire, but Necro left with not a lot left unless he turtles right now. Got himself a little bit of the fortification of the bear. Diabolical taking quite a few hits. Does go in for the Warlock Helsing to catch up really quickly. And Necro left with nothing left unless he can get himself a camo. Still dotted though. But unless you can maybe freeze the pet. 
does catch a camel a second. Oh no, hold on. Dio looking to pick up the eyes. If Necro puts himself in a better spot, maybe he can avoid the succubus because succubus knows exactly where you are. He does go invis. You can't see it, but he can see you. Trying to get himself an angle, but as portals, I think it's just over for him, right? Mortal Coil set in. Could go for the succubus. See, just to add extra C's. Yep, perfect. Nothing he can do in that situation. Fade Death last second, but Fade Death no longer removes your dots anymore, and down goes Necro. Daya does end up living it with so Lucifer. Gonna be up next. I was thinking the baby Lucifer or Rosie. But he's trying to see if he can get a Succubus over to Lucifer early on. The Consecration should get that thing out in the open. And Daya gives himself a second just at least to sit down, get himself a bit of food. For the Warlock, he does have a full Mortal Coil available together with an Infernal Human Racial available too. Will not have a Hellstone for a little bit, but still can maybe make himself some kind of a play. Especially if Succubus can walk away from the boxes and pull Lucifer away from the boxes, then you'll be huge. Maybe catch you in the middle like this because it's out in the open. Goes in for a bit of damage. Got himself reflected. Gives us a Hodge. But Hodge will not get to be reflected. Succubus, you see, Lucifer does already burn a, uh, hell, a trinket a little early. I guess for the Mortal Coil. Bonza fell. Got himself Shield of Innocence. Break it past it fairly quickly. Portals it back up. Got himself a bit of a dark pack. As Lucifer taking a bit of damage, but still able to keep charging on. More portals are opening up. That's a lot of sustained damage for Diabolicals. Even though he doesn't have line inside of Lucifer whatsoever. We catch him a second, but see, pulling the pen back. Big damage, but it's actually going to be an interrupt layer in hands. Hold on, Lucifer is a bad spot. Now that he no longer has a bubble or blessing of protection, he could go down. Dia just needs to get in there. If he can just charge into the guy, he might be able to take him out. Searing Glare does get hit with the Glare. Cannot really respond right now. Stunned by Lucifer, trying to see if he can take advantage with an interrupt. Does get hit. Bubble needs to come out immediately. Unless he just dies. Oh, no. Lay on hands was not enough. It was so close. But I think he was trying to see if he can lay on hands now. And then he's going on the immunity later. Right? Trying to see if he can draw this out a little bit. But that was definitely not the play as Daya. I didn't expect for Daya just to commit like that. Just to run in and just be like, you know what? I'm going to fight against the forbearance. I'm just going to send everything. <laughs> Normally, Warlocks play it a little bit slower, drawn out. Let the enemy kind of get out in the open and just blast him out. Rosie does go for a quick sleep in the opener. Primordial getting reflected back at you. Does get himself the Earth Elemental. Maybe can get himself a setup. Succubus does catch you real quickly. Unless you can tremor it. Can you tremor Succubus you see? You might be able to, right? But Daya got himself a bit of a shield. Rosie not looking all that good health-wise right now. Has taken just quite a bit of hits. Dampening not that high. It is getting higher at 38% dampener. Lightning lasts around the corner. Daya does have a shield for this one, so he's okay. Portals are open to back up. Rosie's just going to take a lot of sustained damage. Stone around the corner. And Daya trying to make sure they got himself the angle ahead of Rosie so they could just maybe stand and just cast some spells. Trying to go for Soul Fire. Going to get interrupted very quickly. Suck him as you see. Soul Fire back up and available. Earth Elemental maybe can stun. Does not get to us. It's going to be a big Earth Shocks out of Rosie. Still trying to get a bit more healing. Dropping down a totem. I think was a ground totem for a second wall out of dia just to give himself a little bit extra defense got him some mortical back up mortical into rosie but does end up kind of running away from dia dropping down sky fury maybe can make some kind of a go knocking dia out in the open that is going to be dia switching off the pets though to try to get an interrupt cast onto diabolicals or, or rather onto rosie and maybe can steal some buffs from him swapping out to a whole new fell hunter again i guess i think got too much too low on health just try to sit down for some food, but that fire elemental is not going to let you do anything. Rosie able to catch up. And if Rosie could put some cooldowns together, I think Daya could go down. There's normal wall. Does have a shield. Does have a warlock hellstone. Maybe reflect can work. More to call in infernal. Maybe could also do a bit of work too. But for Rosie, not having a wall, I think is going to put him in a weird spot. But being able to lava burst around the corner like this is huge. Does get a stun. Bonzafell is going to be able to attach to Rosie. As long as you don't move too far, you'll be okay. Reflect up for Daya. Does have a mortal call with Infernal very, very soon. Rosie, try to see if you can leap around the corner. Root on the Daya. Did have a Sky Fury. That is quite a bit of damage that could still add up into an interrupt onto the lasso. Trying to make sure to deny him any kind of CC. Into a board as he goes in for a burrow. Will not be able to pop up under Diam. Did do a little bit extra physical damage. Big Infernal. Boros are open. Rosie, not feeling that good. Able to at least root out the entire demonic, uh, I guess, reinforcements for Daya. As Rosie back it up. That's a walk him back up with the Guardian very, very soon. So if they can buy himself a bit of time, he'll be okay. Big Primordial, maybe big setup. Lava Burst could be huge. If you get interrupted in Diabolical Tool, that'd be great. Does get interrupted himself, though. Bonsafil does not connect. Rosie still has a Sky Fury. Maybe there's still an opportunity here. Hold on. He got a totem. Maybe he can heal himself. Trying to catch up a little bit of health. 
Daya charging in Mortical as a root comes out, which is huge for Daya. Rosie does pop a trick for this one. Wall as well as Garden is available, and Daya does not have a wall. So this could be huge right now for Rosie. Does have a random portal open, trying to see if he can leap around. Light and Lessa avoiding the uh, the uh, Fell Hunter some way somehow. Needs just a music cast combo into a fear reflect out by Daya. That's gonna be Rosie dropping down. I think not even uh, reflecting. I think he just goes in for. CC immunity somehow. That or maybe juked out the pet. Trying to go for Shadow Fury. Maybe this will be enough. Knocking him back last second. Do you have enough damage? Got himself a gateway back up. Rosie got himself immunity to interrupt while casting with Spirit Walker's Grace. Daya waiting until maybe walls back up at 40. Mortal Call come back up very, very soon. Portals are up. Full fire elemental. Interrupted him. Chaos Bolt right after. Hold on a second. Oh, it does drop down a big Earth Shock at the very, very end. He had to play it super carefully just to beat Daya. That was a close one. I wonder if Daya could maybe have played it slower. I feel like maybe the played Succubus. I know you'd be missing an interrupt, but I wonder if that would have helped you lock down Shaman just a little bit easier. But maybe those roots and just line aside in the pet would have done the trick. Chicago letting Rosie as much of a chance to get an honor drill, but walking into this without a trinket, without a wall, without a guardian, there's only so much you can really do. I think see if I could just gonna try to see if you can speed up the process of him healing with a poly. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, yes, and it's gonna be Chicago has everything available Rosie very very limited what they could do But maybe there's a chance maybe you'll randomly just ascend try to go for a knockback in Chicago doesn't quite connect Lasso trinkets out of it immediately for Chicago. I think it's not the ball in our court for Rosie Maybe Earth Elemental could help trying to see if you can get some kind of setup burrow down does end up eliminating totem Maybe you can knock back Chicago. That's gonna be a uh, What is that thing? That's a uh, counter-strike totem? I think it is a counter strike totem. Trying to see if we're gonna win him, but Sunder does catch you just a quick second. Frost Shock's knocking him back with a root right after. Big zap to follow. Hex, maybe you can get himself a proper hex. Lasso, I think it's over. Trinkets? No, it's an interrupt. I think it's done. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Without a wall, without a trinket, there's only so much you can do, but Daya does bring it back for your team with three. But the Rosie is able to put a kibosh on that guy's run. Either way, though. It's kind of something we're going. <laughs>